ain't no beer belly, that's a fuel tank for a whoop ass machine. And I'm about to open up a can on your ass right now. What's going on, you beer goslin' some bitches? You're back here with the beer hunter for another beer of the day. And today, rightfully so, we're gonna have Saradak Oktoberfest. Hell yeah, it's October now, the leaves are starting to change, and it's just beautiful weather. Yeah. I, my favorite time of year. So let's pop the top on this on bitch. See what we got going on. Uh, Oktoberfest beers are my favorite style, and uh, I'm not sure if I reviewed this last year. I did try their Darktoberfest this year, which was a new new beer for them, the Map Brewing Company. And let's see here. Uh, toasty malty, Octobery, and authentic German style lager passed down through four generations. One sip will send you straight to Munich. And uh, this here is 5.4% alcohol by volume with 20 IBUs. And the head is completely gone. That was quick. Slight hop, dark caramel. Amber, slight gold. And let's just give it a bottoms up. Hell yeah. Very, very good beer. Wet. Very, very wet and slick. Good, good beer. One of the best Oktoberfests out there. This is just excellent beer. If you can get it, it's from Utica, New York, so some people can't get it. Uh, I sent a couple down to uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews, and I sent them the Darktoberfest and uh, Legacy IPA. Both good beers in my opinion. This Oktoberfest is probably a little bit better than the Darktoberfest, but that was a, a new you know, venture for Saranac. So something new to try. Small company around here. I guess there's a lot more in-depth stuff about it. Jace mentioned a ton of the information. So he really nails down the information. I just do the drink it. So um, it's really good beer. It's so drinkable, man. This is something you can sit around, hanging out with friends, cook up some bratwurst, whatever the hell you want to do. Just hanging out, having a good time. This is a goddamn good beer to have. And I can't recommend it more. This is a good one. And my this year so far, this one year, and Adirondack Oktoberfest have been the two best I've had. Uh, Sierra Nevada fell short from previous years. That was awesome last year. This year they collaborated with another company and I don't think it worked out that great. But hey, it is what it is. Some people love it, some people don't. And that's with all beers. So that's what makes it fun and the variety is just keeps growing and growing. But then I hear the variety, especially because IPAs are like the next, you know, the big thing and uh, hops are scarce. So hey. So somebody's gonna have to come out with the next boom of beer and uh, eliminate so many hops, I guess. You know, get rid of that dry. But it's become the new craze. So uh, some of them I like, some of them I don't. And that's with all beer, and that's what makes it fun, guys. So I will drink the next one with you, and I give this an 89 all day long. And I will see you next time. Peace.